In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at one of the standard tools that are available in InfoWorks ICM for providing a statistical overview of the network. The overview tool will count through the various objects in the network and give us a breakdown, both graphical and digital, of all the objects in the network. The tool is available from the Network menu. Select Network and Overview. This moves the window so we can see both the statistical report and the network itself. As we can see, the network contains 1,234 nodes, of which 1,219 are manholes, with the remainder being made up from outfalls. The overview also gives us a breakdown of the links in the network, which will obviously comprise pipes and various other control structures. And then further down the list, we're given a breakdown of the overall pipe length, 93 kilometers in this case, and the pipe size range, 150 millimeters to just under 3 meters. Finally, at the bottom of the diagnostics, we have subcatchment data and information for a 2D zone. And in this case, we have just a single 2D zone with just over 4,500 elements. To the right-hand side of the dialog, we have a graphical view of the statistical data, which we can make various selections on. At the moment, we are looking at total pipe lengths, and we are doing that on a breakdown of length itself. So as we can see, there are various breakdowns of length from just under 5 metres, going up to pipes that are over 1 kilometre in length. And as we can see quite clearly, the most number of pipes occur in the 100 to 500 metre range. There is almost 55 kilometres of length there, making up a total of 319 pipes. Now, at the moment, we are looking at this total length range, as we can see. But what we can do is change that to count. And if we do it on count, we can see that the graph will change. And immediately, we actually have now 475 being the most number of pipes, and those are the pipes that are in the range 10 to 50 metres in length. We can also do a similar analysis based on pipe size. Simply select pipe size, and here we can now see that we have various diagnostics going right from the small pipes at 100 millimetres up to pipes that are over 500 millimetres. And here we can see that by far and away the largest count is in the 200 to 300 millimetre range, where we have just under 500 pipes. Now that is obviously a breakdown for the entire network. What we can do is use the selection tool and pick up a random area here in just the centre of the screen. And when we do that and come back to our tool, we now have a second column of information. And you can see that the column here is selected uh, selection. So we pick up our selection. We can see that within that we have 238 objects, all of which are manholes. Just over 220 pipes. And then further down the list, a total pipe length of 18 kilometres. Again, the range is very similar, but we have not picked up the 2D zone. So the 2D zone is not in that central section of the network. And then over here, the pie chart has changed. So again, we're still looking at the count of pipe size. But here we can now clearly see that, in fact, the largest um, pipe size within that centre region is the 500 millimetres or greater pipe range, which is a number of 76 of those. We could change that to pipe length, and now everything changes, and we see that the total pipe length is made up with pipes from 100 to 500 metres in length, just over 11, 11 kilometres there, and a total count of 70. Not far behind, we have 77, and we can change it to counts, and we can see that, and now we have a very even distribution between the pipes in length 10 to 50, and those in 50 to 100, and those in 100 to 500. So very similar numbers there, and that even distribution is shown here on the graph. Now we can do a breakdown of system type as well if we wish, so we can look at just sanitary systems, or just the overland pipes, or maybe just the stormwater systems. And in each case, as we change our selection, this diagnostics will change, as indeed will the breakdown either for the entire network, or indeed for a selection if we made a selection in our system. So that was a very brief overview of the network tool that we have in the software, which allows us to look at a breakdown of all the component parts within our overall model.